There is a new three-part docu-series about Selena Quintanilla and Yolanda Sal. Bro, I'm tight that I even have to make this whole video again because it was a whole seven-minute video that I made, and I was speaking facts. But let's get into it. I genuinely feel like they should not be making another one, and girl, you literally made a whole true crime video with them when they came to interview you in the prison when you first got locked up and you wasn't being truthful then so what is it that you have to say now like i feel like you're still gonna lie you just want everybody to know that like hey i'm still here we don't care if you come out you're not gonna be still here anymore if we really want to be honest it's giving you one pull of gypsy rose and I genuinely just feel like, okay, I might not like the family because who in their right mind, again, everybody grieves differently, but who in their right mind is going to have a whole movie uh, literally a week after their loved one passes, regardless of how big or famous they are? Like, who is going to go and decide, oh, let me start casting these people? Oh, Selena's dead. Let me go cast these people to make a movie. Like, that just don't make no sense. Like, I don't care what nobody got to say about that. I don't care if that's what they wanted to do and they wanted to jump the gun before anybody else. That was the most dumbest thing that they could have ever done. And don't get me wrong. Yes, the movie was a good hit. And it was great. Like, it's my favorite. That's literally the... I. That's Don't get me wrong. Yes, I like the series on Netflix, too. I love the series on Netflix, too. But I prefer the movie over the series. But... Let's not sit here and act like that was not something crazy. And I'm not even going to sit here and put it on Chris because I feel like regardless of if Chris was in the picture or not, they decide, they was going to decide to go and make a whole movie on her. And then the thing about it is that you were sitting here lying in the first interview that you had when you was first thrown away in jail. What is so different 30 years now? Like, I genuinely don't understand, like, what is... I, I, help me help you help me understand, like, what, what ve benefits you get from this besides money, like, money on your books, like, that's all you get, and then the thing about it is that if your family genuinely does come out and defend you, they're even more sick in the head than you, like, they're even more sick in the head to even want to defend somebody who went out their way to basically kill somebody, for no specific reason to literally off somebody because you're the one that's stealing their perfumes you're the one that's stealing their taxes returns anything that belongs to selena that you have that you should no longer have because you do not work for her anymore you went and offed her because you decided i did not want to give that back to her and you was pissed you was throwing a little tantrum and the thing about it is that i don't want to hear the same thing that she said in the mo in the last documentary the one that she did five years before that i was born saying oh how her finger slipped on the trigger baby that lie is not still not going to work with us because we know even the cops said it that the type of bb gun pew pew gun that you had you literally need literally all your force to even pull the trigger for one bullet to even come out so it's just like your finger slipping on the trigger was not enough for it to go off and hit somebody so i'm just confused as to like what the issue is like girl i don't understand and for the thing and the thing about it is that i'm not too mad at the family but it's just like was background checks not a not a thing back then because and i'm not talking about selena and i'm not talking about chris but i'm talking about the rest of y'all like if selena and if selena said wasn't thinking about no background check on this lady y'all didn't jump the gun and be like oh let's see what this lady is about and let's see how she really is because not not even trying to like be disrespectful or say that y'all knew that this lady was gonna pass away if not saying that y'all knew that at all but for me it's just like bro Y'all could have definitely done a background check and probably seen that she was stealing from her last job. So if she was going to steal from her last job, what makes you think she's not going to steal from somebody big and famous that she's working with? Like, let's put two and two together. Let's use our common senses. Let's turn that switch on because, bro, it just don't make no sense to me. And the thing that kind of threw me off and that was upsetting to me is that 
she wasn't even warm in the grave yet. She ain't even get the chance to unpack her bags in heaven. She ain't even get the chance to kick her feet up in heaven and have a good little mimosa before y'all decide y'all want to go and make a movie on her. She literally only has been deceased for seven days and y'all decide, oh, let's start casting. And I'm glad that the lady that y'all picked before y'all picked J-Lo was like, hell no, because she just died literally what? Today? And y'all are... Already trying to ask me to be her in a movie just because y'all don't want anybody else to jump the gun. Baby, let's let's really talk about it. As much as we don't like it, she's a celebrity. They're gonna do it regardless. They did it already. They did they have something on her on Prime, regardless if y'all liked it or not. But it's just like none of y'all make sense to me. The only person that makes sense to me is Selena and Chris. And one out of the two is no longer here anymore. So 